Hey YouTube, my name's Alex and I'm a park ranger that lives on site in an isolated area of the California desert. Today I'm going to show you what it's like to spend a day or two doing the work we do and living how we live. It's a dream come true with plenty of challenges, but I absolutely love it. It's also a really unique experience and I think it's worth sharing, so I hope you enjoy. My mornings are not so much different than that of most people. I wake up, drink some coffee, make some breakfast, and get the shower ready to get into work for the day. I actually haven't had hot water for a while, so I have to heat mine up in a kettle until I have enough to take a bath, but it's not a big deal. Before I leave, I get my gear gathered up, some of which includes a multi-tool, water, camera, sunscreen, some snacks. Once everything's packed up, it's time to go outside and head to work. Anytime I leave my house to go somewhere, I have to do a little off-roading. Uh, and going to work is no different. The ranger station is only about two miles from my house, but because of the terrain I have to drive, it takes about 15 minutes to get those two miles. After checking in at the ranger station, getting the restrooms cleaned up, and making sure everything's okay, I head on over to our second preserve. running joke how nice our restrooms are but uh yeah we've got them all cleaned up the trash is in the back of the truck so we're gonna head back to the next preserve and uh get going there so the second half of our day actually got cut short and that's because our water filtration system wasn't working properly which is a bad thing considering we have high levels of uranium in our water so the second half of the day i was stuck at the doctor's office getting tests done to make sure I was all good. Um, but I'll show you what we did the next day to make up for that. So just like when you're leaving in the morning, when you're coming home at the end of the day, you gotta do a little off-roading. It's a nice way to relax as you wind down and come home. And this day just got even better because I had a really cool experience that I'm about to share with you that I haven't had before. Okay, you guys, so um, it's the end of the day. I walked outside right now to go to the car. And for the first time I heard a cat roaring. Uh, I think it's a bobcat. It's gonna be very stupid. I'm gonna go to the car to try and get my mic. So what I thought was a bobcat actually ended up being a mountain lion making all that noise. I couldn't get a photo or video of him even though I went to the second floor lookout windows. I kept looking from there and I just didn't see him. But I did get this audio and I am very excited about it because I've never seen or heard one. I've just seen their prints occasionally. So the next day was what we call a project day, where we take on a big project and hit it hard until it's done. We were pretty much redoing the road at our ranger station, and that consisted of me spending the entire day filling up a water tank with water, spraying down the road and the gravel that it came in. A couple times I got soaked head to toe and completely dried out in five minutes, and once or twice I may have sprayed pretty much a water hose directly into the truck. But it's a fun time, and uh, it's always fun to get your hands dirty. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for taking the time to see what it's like to live and work up here. If you did like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me a lot and it really helps if you share it with somebody. I have a huge back catalog that's just now starting to go up that I've been recording since I started. I do all these videos on my own time with my own equipment um, just for the fun of it and it would mean a lot to me if you guys could help me share them with others. So thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you very soon. Take care.